Hey guys, so it's later of the day. Um, we went to go see my grandma, how she was doing. I slept over there uh, last night, and now my stepsister is sleeping over tonight. Um, so I'm just probably gonna break it down to you what really what happened that Christmas Eve. Um, so my grandma was feeling really tired. Um, she was like feeling not herself or anything. Um, and then my cousin and I was massaging her, um, her legs, her back and everything. And then she wasn't feeling well, so, um, she chose to call my stepsister, which is Thu. And we, when we called her, um, she finally came, uh, to see what's wrong, and we called the ambulance. After the ambulance, um, uh, we went to the emergency room. After the emergency room, we just waited to see if, um she has to stay in the hospital again or go home um a couple of hours passed and stuff uh, my grandma wasn't herself at all um but my aunt and my uncle was massaging her uh, and she fell asleep so that was a good thing that she fell asleep because she needed the rest um but i noticed when i looked at my grandma like her um her face was falling off and the surgeon doctor came in and looked at my grandma and said like yeah your grandma's not looking good so he went he walked out for a second and so because he was trying to he like he trying to talk to grandma my my grandma and she didn't respond like usually she always respond to the doctor and she didn't so Soon, um, he left. I went to see if Grandma would wake up if I, um, shake her or anything and or call her name. She, she didn't respond. And it scared, it scared me and everyone else. And, like, she, um, she wasn't waking up. And all I see her is her lip moving and her blowing bubbles. And it kind of got me to the point where like grandma wake up grandma wake up and she didn't want to wake up um so uh we called the nurse in and the nurse called more nurses in to try and wake up my grandma she wasn't waking up and so they told us to go away outside and then soon we went outside a priest came to um to get us, um, it, the only people that stayed with my grandma was my stepsister, my aunt. My stepsister called, I mean, text me saying like, they put us into this special room, like, it's getting serious, it's like, okay. Um, because the doctor told us that they had to put a tube down her throat. It's like, okay. And so they had explained to my grand, I mean, to my stepsister what happen and my stepsister couldn't take it and she ran into into the waiting room where, where we were waiting at and she we saw her crying it was like it was like it can't be that bad sorry um and she said like she's in trauma which is uh like a, she's in a coma that she, the tube is making her help her breathe, but she's not breathing on her own, which kind of got me off guard, means, like, I'm not losing my grandma on Christmas Eve. And then a couple hours later, it was Christmas Day. My grandma finally was moving, but slowly moving. She was, um, like, trying to open her eyes and everything, trying to take stuff out of her mouth, but she couldn't. It was it was a lot like we thought we were going to lose my grandma because she wasn't waking up. Um, I thought we all because my whole family from Tennessee, Louisville, and here in E Town, uh, we all went to a hospital and went to go see my grandma. Like it was a full house of my whole family in the waiting room. 
when I saw my grandma, she was, I couldn't explain, like, how painful it was for me to look at her in that position or in that part of uh, the hospital where she was in a coma. Um, it scared me. Like, no other way. Like, it scared me. And but luckily we told my grandma what what happened and she said like oh I'm I'm still alive I'm still here it's like I see that grandma but you give us a heart attack um, but she's well and better and thank you guys so much again uh, for praying and uh, saying a lot of nice things to me and my family that means so much because. Um, my grandma's strong. She fought through that coma and um, everything. Uh, she's getting better. Um, she still had to stay in the hospital for a couple of days. But after she's on her feet, then she can do whatever she can for herself. Because, like, the doctors, they don't like her doing stuff. I mean, let her do stuff on her own yet, but for my grandma, she's like, no, I'm doing it. <laughs> but my grandma, she's she's a tough, she's a tough grandma. So, I mean, a tough woman. Uh, but anyways, thank you guys so much for praying and thank you for all the comments and everything. And thank you that I'm sorry that I haven't vlog. I didn't vlog on Christmas Day or anything. It's just like all this happened, but um. Thank you. Um, I hope you guys have a nice new year. Um, I'm not ending um, Vlogmas yet until end of New Year's. And then I'll probably have like a couple of days off until I come back. Um, I'll probably let you guys know um, when New Year's hits. and Or maybe not, probably, but I'm just telling you guys uh, now. But anyways, um, love you guys. Um, and like, share, subscribe, and comment down below for what you guys want to see next. Uh, or you guys want to see what how my grandma's doing and stuff. Um, check all my social medias because I post a lot of stuff about my family and also about my grandma and how she's doing. Click on that bell uh, somewhere around here. And yeah. Um... Love you guys, and thank you for everything, for the support, support, and the love. Uh, my grandma's appreciated of that. Um, if I can try to get my grandma to look at the camera, I will. Um, actually, I'm going to give you guys a clip of my grandma right now, how she is right now, because uh, she's getting a little better. Like, she smiled, she's smiling, she's better now. So, here's the clip. Let's go. <laughs> okay, put action. Hi, Grandma. <laughs>